Hi everyone. Welcome back to Maternity Monday. Today is January the 9th. I'm 90% sure of that. <laughs> Today I am 25 weeks pregnant. Well, 25 and 3 days. Baby is over a foot long now. And baby is about a pound and a half in weight. Although it feels like a 10 pound bowling ball sitting in my pelvis there. It's said to be the size of a cauliflower, which is really weird. I don't really like the vegetable analogies. I don't think that they're very accurate, but they're fun. Anyway, uh, baby is very active this week, especially at nighttime. It's still definitely a night owl, definitely a night owl. So hopefully it'll get its schedule, you know, uh, sorted out before it's born. Still no real preparations for baby coming in. I still don't know where I'm going to be delivering the baby. Whatever that at home, in the hospital, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I tend to have very fast delivery, so I'm hesitant to plan for a hospital delivery and then accidentally have it at home. So I, yeah, I've got some things to think about, but I've got time, hopefully. Nausea ramped up incredibly after my last maternity Monday update. I had to go back on diclectin because I was spending, yeah, like the entirety of my mornings either throwing up or being on the verge of doing so. Essential oils do not help. They might make the, the queasiness kind of dissipate a little bit, but not completely disappear. Heartburn seems to go hand in hand with diclectin. I find that uh, diclectin is replacing nausea with heartburn. So it's like the lesser of two evils, at least I get to eat, so that's good. Uh, the symphysis pews dysfunction is definitely in the realm of dysfunction now. It's no longer just pelvic girl pain, it's definitely dysfunction. Lifting things up, moving around, just excruciating pain, inability to walk at times, especially if I've been sitting down too long, standing too long, laying too long. <laughs> I spend a lot of my afternoons trying to do stretches out of a, a book that I have that I find it's very helpful. I got off the phone with EI just a few minutes ago, and fortunately they have approved my claim I'm so happy, I'm so... <sighs> a giant weight has been lifted off of my shoulder. And I should be getting a payment this week, which means that I am going to be able to finally schedule a chiropractor appointment because I have not been able to go due to finances and find a physiotherapist as well. So I can kind of try and nip this in the bud now that it's... I guess it's no longer a bud, it's got rose petals. So I can start being more proactive about it so that it doesn't get too horrible. Because right at the time, like right now, I feel like I'm, I could make use of a walker if I had one available to me. I could definitely use one. And I'm this close to very hesitantly and reluctantly applying for a handicap parking placard. Just simply because like, on days where I really need it, I really need it. And I'm like, I'm one of those hesitant people that I won't use it if I, unless it's absolutely necessary. No new stretch marks yet. I don't know how much weight I've gained or if I've even lost any because of how little I've been eating. So my next midwife appointment is next week, next Thursday. So I guess we'll see, <laughs> see then. I'm a little bit nervous, although I'm not really, I'm not concerned. I just don't like the numbers growing. Ah. Oh, this week, uh, I get to go in and do the one hour glucose testing this week. Last pregnancy, I opted out of it, but this pregnancy, I get faint really quick, very much out of the blue. So I just wanted to rule that out. If you like these updates, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for Maternity Monday. Ciao.